Today we are classifying rational numbers. My learning target is I can classify whole numbers, integers, and rational numbers using a visual representation such as a Venn diagram to describe relationships between a set of numbers. So my whole numbers are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and so on. So some examples, um, 1, 9, 0. Integers are, um, they can be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and so on, or they can be negative numbers, they're opposites. So negative 14, negative 34, negative 23. This is considered a rational number and an integer. Those are not considered whole numbers because they are negative. And then my whole numbers are considered integers and rational numbers. All right, rational numbers are numbers that can be represented as a fraction or decimals that are terminating, which means they end or they are repeating. So just some examples, negative two thirds, 1.98, 1.13 repeating. So that would be 1.13131313 on and on and on. All right, so again, rational numbers are numbers that are expressed in the form of a fraction where a and b are integers and b does not equal 0. Rational numbers can be decimals that are terminating, which means they end. They do not go on forever. For example, pi is not a rational number. Or it's repeating, which means it's repeating the same number or a few numbers. All right, so we are gonna label each number as a whole number, integer, or rational number using the most specific term. So number one, 1.46, that is a rational number. Sorry, you probably can hear my dogs fighting in the background. Number two is negative one third, that is a rational number. Five is going to be a whole number. Four is 2.45 repeating, and that's going to be a rational number. Number five is negative two, that is be going to be considered a integer. Number six, two-thirds, that is going to be rational. Negative 4.67 is rational. Number eight, which is eight, is a whole number. Five-sevenths is rational. And negative 7 is an integer. All right, thanks for watching.